I am letting the kids pick out their 4th of July outfits. I pick out all the stuff my kids do. Find anything? No. All right. We want a match. You do? That surprises me. Abby, why are you wearing a sweater in June? You're not hot? Are you cold? Maybe it's like a comfort blanket. Good morning, passengers. Today, I am letting the kids pick out their 4th of July outfits. So, I am kind of a crazy mom in that I love my kids to wear red, white, and blue. They have been wearing red, white, and blue every year since they were wearing clothes. But the problem is, the last few years that I've brought clothes home, the kids have hated them. It's been tears and begging, please just wear it just one day, just the 4th of July, and I'm not gonna do that to my kids this year. You guys are all going to pick what you're gonna wear for the 4th of July, okay? Okay, ready, set, go! Oh, okay, should we all stick together? <laughs> Oh, yes, the payment. I, it's, it's my treat today, my treat. I'm gonna hold my tongue and let the kids pick whatever they want, so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. I so wanna be like, Sherry, do you like this? Oh, she heard me. <laughs> Oh, she does not like this. Look how cute! I pick out all the stuff my kids eat. Find anything? Nope. All right. <laughs> Julie. That thing here's Mom. my size. That's right. Mom. Yeah? What is the boy aisle? aisle? Well, this is a girl's store. But we will find an aisle that has boy stuff in it at a different store. Ooh, diamonds on a shirt. Wow. Shopping so much. She's embarrassing me. Store number two is a fail. Moving on to the third store. Sherry likes this store. You've had a lot of clothes from this store. There could be some cute stuff in here. Those red shorts are darling. Very cute. It just doesn't come in your size, unfortunately. All of these stores are just a little too big for you. I'm free fell. <laughs> yeah. How do you know that's what I was gonna say? <laughs> that's funny. He's got this vlogging thing down. So we're gonna give Sherry a break. I'm remembering now, when I used to bring them to the stores, they would never find anything they liked. What? So we'd go home empty handed. So I just started shopping online and buying stuff. And this is why Eve has more clothes than anybody. She always finds something. Okay. Wrong store, this one. No, wrong store. We are not building a bear today. Oh, Russell, this is perfect. Is that his size? Um, this is so cute. Okay, so are you a, you're a five, six? Let me hold it up to you. Hey, look, look at this cute. Yes. <laughs> That's really cute too. That is pretty. I want it. Well, wow, not with that attitude. Let's keep looking. And did you see what's on the other side of the rack? Mom, I like this dress. Okay, that's a much nicer way to say it then. Uh, Holy cow, that was a good price. What was it? One of the perks to waiting until like two days before the 4th of July is everything's on sale. 10 bucks for that dress. Hey, Evie, you sure you did Russell get his suit? Sure? First, did Russell get his suit? Now we're hoping H&M has something. Let's go. It's just us three now. Go. Yep, just the older girls. Okay, guys. Did you find something you liked? All right, and let's that, keep going. When we walked in, that was the dress that I showed her. I was like, hey, this is cute. She's like, no, I don't like it. <laughs> Once she realized if she was too picky, she was going to walk out empty handed. She changed her tune. I remember going to the mall with my mom and she picked out something that really was cute, but I was being just, I was copying an attitude with her. And she's like, oh, okay, well, let's just go home. I was like, but, but what about that outfit that you just said was cute? She was like, okay, let's go. And we left and I was like, 
Oh, I wanted that outfit though. And she's like, really? Because you didn't act like you really appreciated it that much. And from then on, I was like, I will change my attitude when I go shopping. I will be happy. We want a match. You do? Yeah. That surprises me. No unicorns today. You already picked yours out, Eve. But the oh, girls God. found something. Do you guys like those? Those are cute. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys. Girls, those are so cute. You love them? Okay. So when are you girls gonna outgrow using one dressing room? Never. Hey! Let me see, you look so handsome. The kids are getting dressed in here even though we bought the stuff at another store. That is cute. You don't love it? Okay, then don't get it. We'll go look. Well, everyone else has got their clothes. This looks really similar to a dress you already have anyway. Um, we'll find something. And there was one left. Yep. Let's go try a few other stores. I have not given up hope yet. You should not give up hope yet. We will find something. Oh, you guys are gonna have these forever. Yes. And look, this is what we were for Halloween last year. You were peanut butter and jelly. And then we put happy together. We were trying to make it funny. Okay, I have finally found a downside to wearing a jumper. It is not easy to go to the bathroom. I'm not looking forward to going and using the bathroom. I have to like take the whole thing off. Sherry found nothing at the store. We are going to end our day by going to a movie, The Incredibles. Is it The Incredibles 2? The Incredibles 2. If there was a family, like an animated family that I would like jump into the screen and be, it would be The Incredibles. They're amazing. I gotta do something. He was throwing a fit at the mall because she found a pair of black high heels that had a diamond on them and she really wanted them. And she threw a fit. If you throw a fit, I can't take you to the movie. And she was just kind of quiet for a while. And then you came up to me as we got closer to the theater and what did you say? That was really fun, even without shoes. That was really fun, Mom, even without shoes. I would say that's a win. Good job. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Incredibles yet? What did you think of the movie? It was so good. It was so funny. It was, it was awesome. I felt like so many times during the movie, I'm like, they tap into something. I'm like, where's Russell? We're, he's right there. I'm like, I feel like we're the Incredibles. Mom. Fighting evil, one video at a time. And then at the end of the movie where she talks about if it wasn't for your core values, we could have really gotten along. And she's like, my core values are everything. I'm like, ah! She said it. At least I have core values. And I love the movie because it's obvious that raising a family takes more superpowers than beating evil in the world. Look at Sherry's so embarrassed. Just enjoy it for the entertainment, man. You look too deep into it. Oh my oh, gosh. I was, I was entertained, for sure. Chad did not come with us because he fell asleep and he's been taking a lot of naps. It's kind of funny how you revert back to some of your child habits and napping is one of them. He napped all day and I just called him. Chad's like, Mom, you're gonna wake everybody up in the house. Why are you calling? And I was like, Chad, you're the only one sleeping. You're the only one at the house. What are you talking about, Mom? I just woke up. I said, yeah, I know you just woke up. He's like, I got up, I looked at the clock at six o'clock. It was six o'clock right now, it's almost seven. 
He's like, and I just, I said, what, you went downstairs and started watching cartoons? He's like, yeah. I said, Chad, it's not seven in the morning. It's seven at night. So for a whole hour, he thought it was six in the morning and it wasn't. It was six in the evening. So we're gonna go get Chad and we're gonna go out to dinner. Where would you guys like to go? Costa Vida? I know he, yes, he loves Costa, Costa Vida. I, yes, I do. Okay, you guys, go fight evil in the world. One core value at a time. We'll see you next time. Bye.